Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Stars, planets, and the moon for Astronomy Day this year. Greetings, fellow stargazers. I'm James Albury from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'll be your guest host this month on Stargazer. Please mark Saturday, May 7, 2011, as National Astronomy Day, which promises to be the biggest and best astronomy day since we started celebrating it in 1973. And please make this a family event. Simply contact your nearest science museum or planetarium, astronomy club or observatory, because everywhere across the U.S., astronomy-related institutions will be participating. And since Saturn is at its closest, biggest, and brightest to the Earth for the rest of the year, hundreds of institutions will be offering free telescopic viewing of the ring planet. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for Astronomy Day evening, Saturday, May 7th, about an hour after sunset facing east. Where halfway up the sky, you'll see a large triangle of bright lights. The brightest light in the triangle is Arcturus, a bright orangish star about 37 light years away. At the bottom right is the not quite as bright star, Spica, the brightest star in Virgo the Virgin. The upper right light in the triangle is the ringed planet, Saturn and Saturn is the only planet available this Astronomy Day night. Through a telescope, Saturn will reveal its beautiful rings, which are widening now, and they will continue to get wider over the next several years as Saturn twists and shows us more of them. And if you visit an astronomy club with a big telescope, you may also see three of its many moons, Rhea to the left of Saturn and Tethys and Dione off to its right. All three of these moons are smaller than our own 2,000 mile wide moon. If you look farther to the right of Saturn, however, you'll spot Titan, the largest moon of Saturn. This is the best time for the rest of this year to view Saturn and its beautiful rings. And think of this, while our moon is 2,159 miles wide, Titan is almost one and a half times bigger, 3,200 miles wide, whereas Saturn, even minus its rings, is a whopping 75,000 miles wide. So, for Saturn and Titan to appear as small as they do from the Earth, they must be much farther away. And such is the case. Indeed, on Astronomy Day night, the Moon will be only 238,000 miles away, while Saturn and Titan will be a whopping 817 million miles away. Plus, if you turn and face west, you'll get super telescopic views of a five-day-old Moon for free. And, although all such moons are very bright and beautiful to the naked eye, you'll be astonished at how much detail you can see even through the smallest telescope, because the shadows created by the sun on the mountains and craters are absolutely breathtaking. So, be sure to ask your hosts to let you peek at the moon on Astronomy Day night. Of course, there's a lot of more happening on Astronomy Day because all day Saturday at institutions all across the U.S., all kinds of astronomy events will be planned, featuring fascinating speakers including astronauts and NASA experts, planetarium shows, telescope and astronomy hardware and software demonstrations, sun gazing through special solar telescopes, and astronomy workshops for kids and adults alike. Plus, once again, Astronomy Magazine and Celestron Corporation are teaming up with several science museums planetariums, observatories, and astronomy clubs offering free getting started in astronomy materials, plus drawings for Celestron telescopes. Go to our website for a list of participating institutions and mark Saturday, May 7th as one of the best family fun days you'll have all year. It'll be an out of this world experience, believe me. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.